Come with me and let the Bible come alive before your very eyes. Each year since 1964, and that's a lot of years, I've taken a group of friends to the Holy Land. It's become my second home. I'm as familiar with Jerusalem as I am with my own town. We'll hop aboard an air-conditioned bus and get up close and personal with places you've often read about in your Bible. And at each site we stop at, you'll eagerly experience the excitement of visiting God's country firsthand. We'll enjoy knowledgeable English-speaking guides who explain everything in detail as we see it. You're going to follow them from site to site as they provide historical, geographical, archaeological, and biblical information that will help you understand your Bible better. In fact, there's just no better way to get to know God's Word than visiting the country itself. Here at Masada, our guide will explain the struggle between the Roman armies and the Jewish people. Masada rises 1,300 feet above the Dead Sea, but we won't climb this massive rock. We'll take the easy way up, a modern cable car. At Masada, a band of less than 1,000 Jewish zealots held off the armies of Flavius Silva in the last great struggle of Jewish resistance, just three years after the fall of Jerusalem in 70 AD. And after our visit to a historical site, we'll get back on the bus for a little fun. How about a swim in the Dead Sea? We'll give you plenty of time to experience one of the most unique feelings of all time, floating in water in which you can't sink. No, really, you can't sink. You have to try it to believe it. Maybe even get a mud bath. For centuries, people have come to the Dead Sea for the curative powers of these waters. And that won't be your only unique experience on this trip. Have you ever ridden a donkey? Well, Jesus did. Others have. Why not you? And if you want an even bigger challenge, why not take a ride on a camel? Now that's first-class transportation. But mostly, we'll see Israel from ground level. We'll do a lot of walking, but as you can see, it's a casual pace. The best way to see what you've come to Israel to see is from the vantage point of your own feet. And did I mention the food? Out of this world. Perhaps you've eaten Middle Eastern pita bread before, but never like it is in the Middle East. While you'll enjoy the breakfast buffet and the glorious meal each night in your first class hotel, I like the variety of things we find each day for lunch. And since lunch is always on the road, you can choose as little or as much as you want. But mostly, we come to Israel to experience the land and to see the things we've read about in our Bibles. There's nothing like moving around the country to the real biblical sites. And there's always time for one-on-one -on -one discussion of what we'll see. Well. There were a lot of people around, obviously, and all the disciples were there. But um, John is very specific about him turning directly to Philip and asking him. We'll have other teaching sessions and worship services throughout the tour, so this will be both a learning experience and a time of spiritual refreshment. Each day I'll be teaching from God's Word. We all have favorites, of course, and, and one of mine is right here in Jericho. For a variety of reasons, <laughs> Not the least of which, though, is the story of Joshua and the battle with Jericho. Now, I know when you were home and you were reading this story, you had a mental image of what Jericho looked like. <laughs> you had a mental image of how massive this city was and how it would take days for the Israelites to march around the city. And then you came here and found that this is not really that large of a place. Imagine being on the top of the Old Testament mound and reliving the famous Battle of Jericho. It's great to read about this in the book of Joshua, but it's much better to actually be there. I will personally be in charge of our tour, which means that I'll work constantly with the guides and the drivers to ensure that everything you see and hear provides the very best experience possible. O oh, little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Bethlehem. We'll enter the grotto beneath the Church of the Nativity to see the traditional site of Jesus' birth. Since the third century AD, this site has commemorated the birth of the Savior. And then we'll go to the shepherds' fields where the shepherds were tending their flocks that night. 
We'll read the Christmas story and even sing some Christmas carols. It'll be a Christmas that you'll never forget, even if it's not December. And there'll be a Christmas message from God's Word. Suddenly, the top priority of these shepherds has changed. Their priority now is to go see this one little baby. There's always time for you to take your own photographs at each site. You'll be making memories that last a lifetime. And speaking of memories, how about shopping for those special gifts from the Holy Land? We always allow time for shopping. In fact, we do what I call destination shopping. Instead of everyone darting into a shop, each shop you see, we'll take you to reputable shops where the satisfaction of each purchase is guaranteed. You'll get quality gifts at a discount price. When we visit the Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus prayed the night before his crucifixion, you'll see trees that are as much as 2,000 years old. In fact, some of them may have even been in the garden that night he was arrested. And yet, these trees still bear olives every year. Today, the Church of All Nations is in the Garden of Gethsemane. You'll enjoy some modern Israel culture, too. See a bar mitzvah ceremony at the Western Wall. Understand the Old Testament Jews better by watching them continue the practices of the Old Testament today. But the most blessed sights for the Christians are the ones that relate to the last few hours of Jesus' life. Like here at the house of Caiaphas, where Jesus was tried and Peter betrayed his Lord three times. Or here at the traditional site of the upper room, where Jesus and his disciples celebrated the Passover just hours before he offered himself as the Passover lamb. We'll walk the streets of Jerusalem and follow the Via Dolorosa that he followed. We'll stop at places he stopped and trace his steps to Calvary. Once you've been there, there's nothing in the Passion story that will be the same to you. We'll even be on the pavement that goes back to the Roman Empire and to the feet of Jesus. The streets of Jerusalem are still crowded today, but for the Christian, the most important street in Jerusalem leads only one place, to Calvary. Our visit to the Garden Tomb will bring us face to face with Skull Hill, which many believe to be where Jesus died on the cross for our sins and where he paid the penalty for our redemption. A dedicated Christian guide from the Garden Tomb Association will carefully explain the crucifixion and the resurrection of Jesus. You'll understand it like you have never done before. And he'll bear personal and biblical witness to the importance of this site and take your heart to Calvary. And then there's the tomb, the Garden Tomb. As you step into this rock-cut tomb, one thing will become apparent forever. Jesus is alive and has risen from the dead. And perhaps the highlight of our tour each year is our service in the garden tomb. Let's listen in. Whatever the skull means, what we know from the Bible is this. Near that skull, near that place of the skull, there was a garden. We hold in our hands a and the most precious time we have together is our communion service in the garden tomb. Observing the Lord's table is something we do each year and hardly ever do any of us leave this place with a dry eye. So is this your year for Jerusalem? Isn't it time you found out for yourself just how valuable a trip to the Holy Land can be? I hope you'll plan to join these you've seen today enjoying their tour of the Holy Land. It's important that you travel to Israel with someone you trust, someone who's experienced the land many times, someone who can help you read your Bible with renewed meaning. For further information and to find out how you can be a part of Dr. Woodrow Kroll's journeys, call us toll free at 1-800-545-5533. Email info at woodrowcrolljourneys.com. And for pricing, itineraries, tour dates, and to sign up online, visit our website, www.woodrowcrolljourneys.com.